bomb for war. 8 December 1941, the president went up on the hill. We declared war against the United States. 11 December 1941, he went back on the hill. We declared war against Italy and Germany. World War II is just began for the American people. Like I said, we're going to come together and we're going to sacrifice like we never had before. Some of our first. This is the very first time we ever had black men. Black men are getting in our hands. All our professionals are sitting in the uniform. We feel good about the inspection. This is the first time we ever had parents or Marine Raiders. I want to talk a little bit about the Marine Raiders. There's an idea of Roosevelt. They needed some special operations kind of guys. We got the idea from the Royal Marine Commandos. These Marines were specially selected, specially equipped, and specially trained. There would be four battalions of Marine Raiders. They stayed together for about two years. And once they did their things, the ones that come off the submarine, these guys would turn up rubber gloves behind enemy lines, cut Japanese throats. These guys were fierce. They stayed together for about two years. We broke the battalions up, and most of them went back to the 4th Marine Raiders. The Marine Raiders Museum is located here at Quantico out at Camp Barrett, where we, where we train our lieutenants Monday through Fridays when you can go see it. It's at our martial art, our Marine Martial Arts Headquarters. The museum still takes care of that, and you guys would like to look at some Marine Raiders. The interesting thing about the Raiders, a lot of the techniques that they set up our special forces are still used today. This was the forefront of special operators. Here's a gun team on Clark Canal. Now, a lot of people look at these guys and they say, because they're kind of thin, they think of marathon, you know, think of triathlete. So that's about what's happening here. Knowing this was our first amphibious operation, the Navy must have on that particular pilot, and we didn't think they were ever going to come back. They usually put us on an island with uh, 30 days of palatable water, food, and some stakes. Well, if you get to the beach. They ran out of palatable water, they ran out of food, the water they're getting is coming off out of puddles, out of streams, off the enemy. 98% of the Marines we've got in Guadalcanal right now have some type of jungle disease. Malaria, yellow finger, dengue. So we're not only fighting probably a real tough flood. I know we write the history, we're always beating the Japanese up. But when you look how long it took us to beat them guys up, because they were good fighters. We're not only sick, 98% of us are sick, we're also fighting a tough foe. The other thing is we did not have antibiotics. Did not have antibiotics. We've got so much better at training, equipping, supplying, to take care of our people, our Marines on the battle. I tell people now, I've never been so proud to be a Marine than I am today. Right now, probably on current war terrorism, we lost a little over 5,000 American lives. I do not think one loss of life like this. I've had close 20 years going to deploy, so I've lost Marine in combat, lost Marine in battle. They'll stay with me the rest of my life. But when we get over into the World War II and I start talking about the loss of life during battles, they're going to take your breath away. Here's some examples of some movies that we've got. Knew we were coming. This is going to be the next stop to mainland Japan. They knew they couldn't win, but they wanted to cause enough damage that we would think twice about coming to mainland Japan. They had the best they could possibly have there defending the island, but they needed a commander to command those Japanese. They selected a lieutenant general by the name of Kubayashi, who was an aristocrat. He was seventh generation samurai, eighth the warrior. He was a poet. 
It traveled throughout the United States and Canada. In fact, it was just one of the parents that she had both been studied in Florida. It's got one of them. Family aunt had two little girls and boy. That's the human side. But Teddy Newmore House more especially was the night prior to him deploying to Iwo Jima, he had a personal audience with the Emperor of Japan. He used to ring his doorbell for some reason. Has anybody seen the movie Letters from Iwo Jima Park Ground? We had to do something about it. The Marine Corps was tasked with one Marine Division. The first Marine Division is in Finland, the second Marine Division is in Le Germain. There was not a full division in the location, so we brought them together. And there was still not a full division, but we designated the 1st Provisional Brigade, and we deployed them to Korea. Ahmed, who was in charge of forces there, as soon as we got there, he put those Marines in the tip of the spear. They knew how to fight. That's what we do. The Army, the 8th Army, had not been keeping up their equipment. They had not been training, and they were literally getting the daylight kicked out. They sent us into country at that time. We were wearing a uniform article, a legging of yellow in color. The North Koreans okay, refused everybody. to fight the yellow legs because they knew they were using the Protect that retrograde. His last transmission there, they're swarming all over us. You gotta understand they're being overran. He says, fire on the ridge. He's standing on the ridge. Fire for effect. Where's my artillery guy? He just dropped it right on himself. The good news is they repel the enemy's assault. Fox gun is able to accomplish their mission as, the, as Polar and the first Marine Division is coming out there. The better news is. Farmer receives the Medal of Honor for his act of the Chosen Resident. Let's go get warm in Vietnam. Was he alive? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he did. In fact, we named a pistol center. Is it true helping coming? Debbie Mercedes, Lieutenant Colonel Ryan Hill. 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 When you were in here, the welcome roar of your planes as they dealt out destruction to the enemy. A bond of understanding has been established that will never be broken. directions, I felt the impact of projectile strike my aircraft. At some point, I decided that I wasn't going to die. I was going to die. Yeah. 